now that we've got the dimensions done, we can add title blocks. So you see the isometric kind of already started. I'm just going to come up here and double click on this. It's isometric view, all in capital letters. Now, to hit return, it just ends it. So when I double click on it, you want to hit shift enter. Whoa. What did I do there? Shift enter, and we're going to type in engineering. Reference only. Shift enter. Scale. None. Uh, that's a colon. None. Actually, I think it's just scale none, no colon. Now, this title is supposed to be twice as big as the rest of that. I'm going to highlight this thing here. Uh, I'm going to hit OK just for a sec. I want to take this text. I want to move it down. It should be below this here. OK. So you have your isometric view, engineering reference only, scale none. All right, this text is isometric view. Isometric view is the title. So it needs to be twice as big of whatever this is. Uh, and they've changed some stuff, so I'm not really sure what's going on. But we're going to do a right click display object properties. So when I double click this text, and I highlight this. You want to find the font in the object properties and underneath the font. It's currently at 0.137. So I'm going to slide down to 0.27. And it's twice as big, basically. I'll say OK. OK, now I got to move this text over. Now, you got to be careful because I'm still in the isometric view. So let's say I want to go create text. I'm going to create a piece of text using annotate and hit ABC for text. Click a location and type in dash one because this is the dash one part from the drawing number you typed in the 185 blah 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 dash one this is the dash one part I'm gonna do a space and I'm gonna make this easy for myself I'm just gonna call it primary view and then hit shift enter to get to the next line and I type in scale Or scale one colon one. Okay, I'm gonna hit OK so you can look at it. What I'm gonna do is go to view, turn my frame on. I'm gonna grab this isometric view and I want to move it away. Okay, if I grab this primary view, see that primary text didn't move with it. I'm going to hit undo to put it back. So I'm going to delete this text. What you want to do before you create the text is you want to double click on that frame or double click front on the specification tree 
so that you're actually working in that view. In that view, I can go to annotation, text, click my position. Now I will type in the dash one primary view. Shift, enter, scale, Ay ay ay. One colon one. I hit enter. Now when I move the view, it knows to follow. I'll just hit undo to put it back. Now see this text? It needs to be like this text where the, the text is centered. So I'm going to click on this text and I'm going to try and find center justified. So under text you have this arrow here. And we're going to use center justified. And again, I'm going to double click on this. Highlight the top line. And change that height. Oh boy. It was 0.13. I'm going to change it to 0.27. And I'm going to hit, I'm going to do this copy, select OK. I'm going to double click this view here, go to text, click a position, Come in here and do a paste. I still have to highlight this and change the height. And center justify these. What happened? Click on this and then we do a center justify. Okay. And then I need to do the same thing on this view. So I got to double click this view to make it active. Notice that the frame gets bigger too. It outlines everything that's in that view. So if you have text and your text is outside the frame, you know you didn't get the text in the right view. We'll do text, click a position, paste that there again. Hi, uh oh. Dang it, I wish I would have caught this earlier. This here is not the primary view, it is the principal view. I will highlight this and copy that. Double click on this view to make this view active. Go to text. Put my text in here and paste that. They're both principal views. I like this. Make this 0.27. You see it's twice as big. Hit OK. And then set that to center justified. OK. I'm going to come back and go to view and set my grid. Because a couple things here. This is the center. I'm going to go ahead and close this off. This is the center. The center justification should be lined up with the center. So what you do is you click this and just kind of drag it approximately to be centered. Same with this one here on the top. This principal view should be centered. Okay. Now, I'm one, two, three grids down. I had to go down more than three grid because I had dimensions I had to make room for. Okay, but you want to kind of be the close to the same, close to centered and everything. Okay, and then even this, you want to try and get this centered in the center of this, straight down, and in line with this and this. See how aesthetically pleasing that is? And that's how you create your text labels for your views. Notice when you start putting in text, you kind of need to put more, give yourself more and more space. 
Like this seems kind of crowded to me, so I'm going to grab this frame and kind of slide it up, give myself a little room here. Take the size of you and kind of slide it over, give myself a little room. When I turn my grid off, it'll look much prettier and the frame. And now I'm starting to get to a pretty nice looking drawing here. We're going to right click on sheet one and go to edit sheet. Puts the blue axis down here on the bottom corner. And then save your part just like that. All right, that concludes this demo. Next thing we're going to do is apply datums.